Hello, beautiful family. Good evening. How are you all doing? I hope everyone is well by the grace of God. Welcome back to Anastina's Kitchen. If you are a subscriber, please welcome. If you are new, please, you are also welcome. I want to take a minute to thank my subscribers, my supporters, and my viewers for the amazing job that they are doing. I am truly grateful. God will bless you guys all. I love you guys so much for your support. Thank you so much. Okay, today we are going to make um lice soup. Um, here are our beautiful ingredients. Okay, we have some scalp bunny peppers here and also our habanero peppers. We have um, ginger and cloves of garlic. We have an oyster uh, mushrooms, Roma tomatoes. We have some salt for taste. We have our authentic pounded yam pufu. We have um, yellow onions and also purple onions. We have some okra here. And uh, we have some macro fish. This is a dry baked fish, okay? We have here our gold meats. We have here our garden eggs, okay? And we have here our shrimp that's been baked, blended. This is anise seeds. And of course, this is tomato paste, okay? So guys, fasten your seatbelt. Let's get cooking. Okay guys, so I have my gummy here, right? So I wash it with vinegar, okay? Any type of vinegar you want to use is fine. I left it on for five minutes, wash it off, then I use my lemon here. Uh, also wash it with it and leave it on for five minutes, then wash it completely. So now we are ready to transfer it to our pot. As you can see, my pot has been washed nice and clean. Just transfer your gold meat just like that, or any type of meat that you are using, that's fine. Alright, so we have our onions here. So what I'm doing here is I'm just kind of like this so it's easier to blend. Alright, so I have about, let's see, about seven cloves of um, uh, what do you call it? garlic. So I'm just going to grab like about this much. And also I'm going to bring uh, blend that. So just like that. Okay. And then the rest, I am going to uh, boil it. All right, so we have about two tablespoons of onion seeds, okay? I am also going to add it in here. I'm gonna add some water and blend it, and this is gonna go on our meat to steam it. I'm using only one tablespoon, okay? Because we, we don't eat we don't eat that much salt to begin with. So, so we have our water here ready boiling. We just want to boil all our veggies, okay? Alright, so we have here our oyster mushrooms. I'm just gonna add in here so that the flavor of the season will go in as well, just like that. And then we are giving it a very good stir, okay? Then it's been already uh, five minutes. So we have additional 10 minutes to go, yes. All right guys, so it has been uh, 15 minutes. We have here our tomato paste. I'm gonna add it, and I'm going to stir it very well, okay? Make sure it makes through. Yes, like so. Yeah. Alright, as you can see, the vegetables they are all done. Everything is nice and done. Okay, so this is the first batch of the veggies. Now we are going to blend the second batch. So this is the second batch. Now we are going to add some water because it's way too thick. All right, guys. So this is um the veggies that are boiled. This is the broth. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain it. Then I'm gonna add that to my soup. So I'm just draining it like so. So now as you can see, I just drained the the um the water. 
All right, here's the broth. It's going in my soup. The soup, the water's not enough, so I washed out my blender. Now I'm gonna add that too as well. So just like that. There we go. All right, so we are ready to bake our mackerel fish. So I have all-purpose seasoning here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna just put it just like this. Turn it over. Okay, same thing. I have here extra virgin oil. I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit. Okay, the reason why I'm doing this so that it doesn't stick. Sometimes, even though mackerel have a lot of oil. Sometimes um, it can so stick, right? And also, I am not putting any salt because I don't know. I don't want to over uh, seasoning my food. All right, so you can see my fish is in here. I have the oven on on high heat uh, broil. Wow, beautiful soup getting there. Nice, nice meat, everything. So now I'm ready to put in my baked fish. As you can see. I break it uh, into three pieces because it's too big. So just like so. Yep. I am also adding in the big shrimps, okay? Also just like that. All right, so I have my okra here. I'm adding some cold water on it, okay? Just like so. I am adding one teaspoon of salt in here. We're gonna boil it into nice and soft. I have my burner on a high heat. Usually it takes about maybe five minutes because I like my okra uh, a little bit crunchy. Yeah. All right, look at how amazing these fish are. I just keep on checking it. When it was nice and um, brown, I just, um, I'm ready to um, turn it over. So I'm just gonna turn it over like that and do the same thing on this side. Guys, look at that. It's nice, right? You can eat or you can eat can't kill with this. So nice, right? All right, so we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right, so our delicious okra, our uh, okra, they are beautiful. You know what, I'll buy it for about, I'll say all together, about maybe seven minutes. All right, look at that, our delicious fish are done, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, we are going to put it in our soup. Okay, so our delicious fish are done. So I'm just going to put them in here just like so. My goodness. It smells so good. It's going to go so well with the fufu and the okra. Papa Biarico dope. That's right. And you know, you know this right here? This is the broth. You can just put it here like this for more flavor. That's right. Wow, guys, you guys are all invited. I am waiting for you guys to eat for four years. It's going to be so great. Look at that, guys. Wow, look at that. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. All right, so I have my water here. I'm going to bring it to boil. Then we are going to make our pounded yam for all right, as you can see, our water is boiling like crazy. So we have here our pound and yam. We're going to use about, I'll say about two cups, okay? Well, this much, just like that. If the water is too much, if the water is too much, you can always um, thin. You can always reduce the water, okay? So now it's like this. I'm going to add a little bit more pound and yam to the, to the alcohol. Guys, ready? Transfer it to my Asanka bowl. Yes. Make it look nice and pretty. Alright, guys. So 
our pando fufu is done. Look at how beautiful it is. Beautiful. Wow, look at that, guys. You telling me, look at how nice this is. It's delicious. Look at this. Look at this. With the soup, it's gonna go so 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 well. Alright, so there you have it. We have our okra ready, our palm dofufu ready, we have our soup ready. That's right. So now let's get ready and dig in. <laughs> so Wow, guys, I'm telling you, the soup tastes so good. I just tasted it. Look at how amazing this looks. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> so, we're gonna put some meat. Let's put some. Oh, look at this beautiful mackerel. Oh, delicious. Look at that. Amazing. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. And this with assorted meat guys it's to die for thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoy this video and share with friends and family please 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 don't forget to subscribe like and share and become part of and nestina's kitchen's family yes because we love big family thank you so much i love you guys god bless you all Continue doing the good job you're doing for me. See you next.